when we started, we were really influenced by uh, the punk bands like, um, you know, of course, Sex Pistols and the Ramones and the Clash. There were a lot of local bands that we were into also, uh, more local like the Dead Kennedys, they were from San Francisco actually, we're from Los Angeles, but um, we were into TSOL and the Adolescents and those bands that were kind of in our, in our backyard. Well, I think even the Osprey when we started out was just for fun, you know, we hoped to play a few backyard parties, maybe a few club shows, maybe one day make a record so we'd have something to show our grandkids. But, you know, punk bands never, you know, were never commercially viable. They didn't, they, you know, they didn't really get a lot of commercial attention. So we didn't expect to have the, you know, be able to travel the world and, you know, <clears throat> do seven records that have, you know, gone platinum and stuff. Crazy. But you were in a serious band called the Clowns of Death. I was in a very serious band. <laughs> Pretty serious. The Clowns of Death. You know, when we started the band, we actually didn't even play instruments. We, um, we just thought it would be cool. <laughs> you know? <That's> cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We literally did. We went to a show. We are going to go see Social Distortion, I think, in Orange County, where we live. And we couldn't get in and came back and we're just drinking a couple beers in somebody's backyard whose parents were gone, you know, and said, we should start our own band. And uh, so we went out and bought guitars and started playing. And it took many, many years to figure it out. But it was something that we liked right from the start.